We're asked to graph the solution of this uh, the system of linear inequalities. So to do that, you actually consider it like an equation first. Both of these like we would normally. Then we'll come back to the inequality in just a bit. Okay, this first one, they're actually both set up for a cover-up really nicely. This first one is We're going to get a fraction. That's hard to graph. So um, what I'm going to do with this first equation is because if I cover up zero, uh, if I plug zero in for y and cover that up, then x is going to be four. So let's rework work it a bit. I'm going to subtract five x from both sides of this equation. Okay, and that looks like this when I'm done. I'm going to front, and that's a positive four. So I'm putting plus four here. And then I'm still trying to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 1. Just basically flips all the signs, so we get minus 4. Okay, so now it's in slope-intercept form. That's, that one, that's nice and easy to graph. I go the axis and put a dot, because it's a one down. And then I have a slope of 5, which is 5 over 1. That means I count up 1, 2, 3, 5 units, and I go to the right 1 unit. And that's enough to make my graph, okay? I just want to remember when I go to my math lab, for points, I have 0, and then I've also got 1, 1 as points for this red graph. Luckily, the blue graph, this, this graph here is going to be easier, because if I use cover-up, if I plug in a 0 and for 1, and that's a nice, easy equation to solve, right? 5 times x equals 20. I just need to divide both sides by 5. I get x equals 4. X-intercept, that's where it crosses the x-axis. So there's our dot at x equals 4. Uh, shoot, I covered it up. Um, so now if I do the reverse, instead of plugging a 0 for y, I'm going to plug a 0 in for x. That gives me 4y four, four equals 20. Divide 4 from both sides. We get y equals 5. So there's that graph. Uh, now, just a finer point to make sure we get it marked right. Um, the red line does not have that or equal to symbol, right? So we've got to make that. That's my best effort. Dot again. Okay, so tool. Um, the first line it had a y intercept to the right one, and it was a solid line. So there's that first. The next one, um, it was. Oh, I forgot. Here, I can do it real quick. That's four on the x said and then a dotted line. Now look how it's made four triangles, right? Four little slices. So what we need to do is to figure out whether this is our solution to shade or maybe it's this angle or maybe it's this triangle. It's one of those four and it's just one of those four. So luckily once we find it we can stop. We got to find it through a process elimination and the way you do that is just you just pick here is a good one to test this side. It's negative 1 on the x, and that's 0 on the y. So now we're going to come back and finally use those inequalities. So i for x up here, and a 0 for y. 5 times negative 1 makes negative 5, and then minus 0 just makes negative 5. It is, right? Negative number is definitely less than a positive number. So it checks out for this equation. Let's try plugging it in down here. I'm going to plug in a negative 1 in for x. And it's got to work for both of them. So we're checking the second equation. 5 times negative 1 makes negative 5. 4 times 0 makes 0. Is negative 5 greater than 20? So it did not work for this second uh, inequality. So that means this point was not a solution. We're not going to shade that side with the bucket tool. So go for like, let's test out this one. This point is 2 on the x, 0 on the y. So if we plug that into this top inequality, it 
or equal to four? It isn't, right? Ten's bigger than four, so we can stop right there. It's not going to work. I'm not going to use that. Uh, we're not going to shade down in that section. So let's try another point, um, just to make sure we. Gamma three. That's roughly right here on our graph. If we plug in five in for x and three in for y into this 25, 25 minus three is 22. Is 22 less than or equal to four? It isn't, right? So we know this is a solution. We check this triangle, not a solution. We check this triangle, it's not a solution. So our solution area it has to be over here. Okay, so we can use our bucket tool and shade up there.